everyone, it's Lisa from Budget Equestrian and today I'm going to show you how to make this wooden grooming tote. It's pretty simple and it's something I've always wanted to do so I'm going to show you how to do it here today. So first you're going to need some wood. These are 1 by 6 inch pine boards and then these are the tools that you're going to need. You will need a jigsaw, you will need a 18 volt drill, this is my plug-in one, a sharpie marker, measuring tape, hammer, an orbital sander, some stain, polyurethane, glue, and some of those spongy paint brushes, and that's a three-quarter inch wooden dowel. These are the things that you will need to make this amazing wooden tack box. I didn't include my radial arm saw, so you'll need a circular saw or a radial arm saw, and I also used an air compressor with one of those air nailing guns with the little brad nailers. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring off on the wood the pieces that I'm going to need to make this wooden grooming box. I'm marking at 12 inches and then I'm also going to mark at 24 inches. These will be the sides of the grooming box. And then you're also going to need the bottom of the box and for this one I did 22 inches long. Um, then you're also going to need the front and the back sides and for that I kind of eyeballed it once I had the bottom and the side pieces um, and I think they were like 20, 23.78 inches long. So now I am cutting the wood and I'm going to cut all of the pieces that I need for my wooden grooming tote and this is my radial arm saw. I actually got this for free from my parents, thanks mom and dad. But I found them on Craigslist for like $75. This is a Craftsman one, and it's an older saw, but it works incredible. I use it for, you know, my horse jumps, all components that I would normally use a circular, circular saw for. I do use this uh, radial arm saw, and it's just, this is probably my favorite tool that I have. It gives nice crisp lines and it just works incredibly uh, and the lines are straight and that's one thing that I noticed when I'm making things before like with the circular saw the lines weren't perfectly straight so that's why I'm really really pleased with this saw it's very nice and I'm measuring and I'm actually these this is where I'm making the sides for the grooming tote so this would be the front side and then the back side and I want to make sure that they're equal, so that's why I'm using my little Sharpie marker um, because it was such an odd measurement, but it made it perfect. So this is how I did it. You can measure it if you want with the other, you know, once you have the bottom and the side pieces of your grooming tote put together, and then you could just kind of eyeball it or you can measure it. I eyeballed it. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the 12 inch pieces, these are the sides, and what I'm going to do is cut like the triangle pieces off. So that's going to give it the more angled side appearance. You, If you wanted to, you could do it round um, and you could use probably like a paint can lid or a coffee, coffee can lid, but I wanted it to be more of an angled appearance. So that's what I'm doing and I'm kind of trying to see if this is going to work and I'm, I'm thinking it's going to work and actually it did work but so what you're going to do now or what I'm doing now is I'm going to use the jigsaw and I'm going to cut out those pieces and I'm only doing one piece and then I'm going to use that piece as a template for the other side. The jigsaw cuts through the pine really easily that's why I like these pine boards and it also makes it easier to sand because then when you're sanding, you can kind of round the edges and the corners. So once you have that side done and you're happy with how it is, then you're going to use that as a template for the other side because you want the sides to be uniform. There's probably a diff many different ways you can do this. I chose to do it this way because I'm not mathematically inclined. So this works good for me, but whatever works for you is a good way to do it. So now I'm cutting the second piece. This will be the other side, so like the end pieces of the grooming tote. And unfortunately, you see that big knot right in the center? 
if you can, try to stay away from having the knots be where you're going to be drilling or where you're going to be cutting because it makes it a lot more challenging to cut. So now that I have that done, what I'm going to do is take my uh, drill and I'm going to find the center of, this is where the wooden dowel is going to go through. And what I'm doing is, and this one was hard because there's a knot in this section of wood. So can you see the smoke? You'll see smoke coming from my drill bit as I'm drilling it through. And the drill bit that I had on this is a half inch spade drill bit. You, they do make them in three quarter inch and the wooden dowel that I'm using is three quarter inch. So you can do what I did and basically take the half inch drill bit and then kind of cut away the excess with the, with your jigsaw. But, or you can just do it the smart way and get a three quarter inch drill bit. I didn't feel like going to the store so I just used what I had. So now I'm using, again, I'm using the first one as a template for the second one because I wanna make sure that the holes are gonna be similar and they're gonna be in the, in the same place so that when I put the wooden dowel through the holes, it's gonna be even and it's not gonna be kind of going off, you know, kind of askew to one side or the other. But you could actually do it kind of like that if you wanted to, and that would um, give you more room in the grooming tote for like if you had tall bottles or anything. Or you could just make the sides of the tote taller so that the tall bottles wouldn't hit the, like the, the wooden dowel, which is gonna be the carrying handle. So what I'm doing now is I'm tracing around the wooden dowel because that's how that's three quarters of an inch um, and I'm tracing that on the holes that I've already made because this is going to be where the dowel is going to go through the holes which will create the handle for the the grooming tote. So now I'm going to carefully cut out the excess of the wood that's in the hole because my drill bit wasn't the correct size and I'm just very carefully going through and kind of using that circular Sharpie mark as my pattern. Um, and I would recommend doing this very slowly and very methodically and very purposely, even if you have to go back several times, because you don't want, you want the dowel to fit snug. You don't want it to slide around because it'll make it harder to keep it inside and then it could fall out. So, I'm just using my jigsaw and carefully cutting out a little bit at a time. Yes, it's an extra step. Yes, it takes more time, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Because see, now my dowel fits snugly, which is really, really important because that's your handle. So now I'm just gonna make sure that I've got all the excess little pieces out and I'm gonna do the same on the other one. Look at how good that fit. So now I have both pieces. So now the fun part is sanding down all of the edges. And I like to sand, make it more round on the, you know, the, the where I cut those corners off. And you can do even more sanding once you've got this completely finished. So look at how fast I'm sanding. No, I didn't speed up the video. That's just me, I'm super, super fast. Well, not really, but it sounded good. So I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper um, to make it nice and smooth. And even the, the wooden dowel I'm going to sand. So now I'm kind of setting up how it's gonna fit. And you can see this is the front. And then I'm also gonna do the back. But now what I'm doing is I'm going to put the wooden dowel inside the, through the sides and I'm kind of hammering it even though I'm not a very good hammerer. And I'm going to put it through on both sides. And this is gonna give a little stability while you're, while you're assembling your grooming tote. And again, gotta get the hammer out. <laughs> it makes me think of the song if I had a hammer. So see, it gives you more stability. And now I'm going to attach the bottom to the sides. So to give this a little bit more strength, what I've done is I'm taking a little bit of Gorilla Glue. This is wood Gorilla Glue. And I'm just putting a little bit on either end of the, which is going to be the bottom of the grooming tote. Don't use too much of this because if you're, especially if you're using Gorilla Glue, because it expands and it will like bleed through and it'll kind of bubble up around the seams. And then the stain won't 
cover it effectively and, and, you'll, and then you'll see the glue coming through on the seams once it's all completed. So now I'm going to make sure that all the edges line up and that it's square. And then I cheated on this part and I actually used um, the brad nailer because it's a lot easier. You can use finishing nails, but we have this so I'm like, I'm using it because it's going to make it more finished. It goes on very nicely and it just, it's awesome. So if you have an air compressor with a nail gun, it'll make it a lot easier. Um, but if you don't, you can use like a hammer and finishing nails. I would use probably um, one and a half inch or one and a quarter to one and a half inch um, brad nails or nails, finishing nails. And now I'm just blowing off all of the excess dust. I did sand this again with um, 220 grit sandpaper and I don't want to have any dust or anything on it when I'm getting ready to stain. So I just got rid of that. Now I'm staining it. This is an ebony stain because um, I like the dark wood. I thought about spray painting it, but I was like, no, I want to have this stained. So I wanted to have everything nice and stained and it's all pretty. And of course I have gloves on because I get really messy and I actually did end up getting some of the stain on me while I was doing this. But I just really love how this turned out. I'm so happy that I finally did this. I, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I did it. So I'm really excited about that. So this is, this is showing you the finished product. So I love this little grooming tote. It has lots of room and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.